Welcome ladies and gents, my name is Rick Kersey and this is the review for The Walking Dead Season 2. Who will your Clementine become? That is the question you'll answer throughout your journey in Season 2 of The Walking Dead. The sequel to the 2012 game of the year, Season 2 picks up over a year after the events of the first game and featuring Clementine as the playable character. After spending the first game being sheltered and protected, Clem takes center stage and has become older, wiser, and able to hold her own. This is Clementine's story, and the entire season focuses on her character development rather than a set goal. This was something that I felt that really paid off in the end. The choices in this game result a bit differently than they did in Season 1. You're not an adult looking after a little girl anymore, you are the little girl. And as the player, you naturally look out for the well-being of Clementine. But because she is now the playable character, this translates into Clementine standing up for herself. Your Clem can be a caring young woman or an ice queen. She can stand by her friends or not get too attached. By the end of this 5 episode adventure, your Clem will be much more different than others. When it comes to making decisions, you will still be the deciding factor in most cases, and some of these choices hit on a very intense level. What I mean by that is that there are some choices that are really hard to make, and with the time limit that the game gives you, you'll have to eventually make a choice that you feel that you have to make, but you won't like yourself for making it. This isn't a bad thing. I actually like that the game had choice making like this. Making an easy choice isn't challenging, but when it presents something that I have to weigh the pros and cons to before quickly making a decision, the game gets a good reaction from me. If I had to give some criticism to the game with decision making in mind, it's that the game needs to have less of a linear storyline. Before starting any new episode, the game informs you with text saying how the game is tailored by how you play. And while my overall path to getting to a certain point was different considering choices I made, I couldn't help but notice that in the end, a lot of outcomes resulted in the same way. It all got to the same place. An example of this is that eventually Clem will have to make a decision to save a member of the group. At that time, that character can die, but if she does save this person, they end up dying later in the episode anyway. It really spoiled the whole this is my story and my decisions are creating it feeling that I think this series should have. Season 2 isn't the only Telltale game that does this, even Season 1 is guilty of it. That being said, I do think that Season 2 is the worst offender. I could think of too many cases in which I realized that my choices in the end didn't really matter. The result was going to eventually be the same, and it's not a very good realization. Another thing I found odd about this season was how much the adult characters relied on the thoughts of an 11 year old girl. Clem was carrying a lot of burden that the group placed on her and it didn't make sense for the adults to put that kind of responsibility on a little girl. That being said, these responsibilities did put Clem in a much more different light than she was in season 1. She isn't a little girl anymore, but a young badass. Most of the characters in the game really help with the experience. I thought the voice acting was brilliantly executed which helps you connect with people. This makes things that much more harder when you were forced to make a decision that could determine what happens to them. There are some characters you'll probably hate to love or love to hate, but I think that that was the intention of the game's developers. However, I could name one or two characters that I felt really weren't essential to the experience. There are tons of tense moments in this game, and I never felt that it was getting slow or dragging on. I was so immersed that I wouldn't even realize how much time had passed since I started playing. And I also felt that every episode improved on the last. Episode 1 wasn't the greatest episode ever, but it was a nice return to the series. Episode 2 picked up the pace a little bit and had some nice moments. Episode 3 was tense and had one of the more darker experiences in the series. Episode 4 was action packed and left me emotionally drained. And Episode 5 had me seeing things in ways that I never thought I would. That's exactly what this series does. The decisions you make aren't broken up as good or evil choices, it's shades of grey. While you would like to think that you would make the good decision, some situations have you doing bad things for the greater good. Unlike in Season 1, I felt that Season 2 took me to a dark place that I didn't want to be and had my Clementine emerging as something that I would never guess that she would become. The endings are also much more various and different than in Season 1, and some of those endings can once again make you cry, probably even harder than the ending of the first game. I really want to see Season 2 as a better game than Season 1, and I think that arguments can be made for it, but there are some things that just linger in my head when looking at the overall experience. From some of my decisions not really mattering to characters I cared nothing for and those telltale technical hiccups, Season 2's negatives are in plain view. However, I loved how the game focused on Clementine's story rather than a set goal. I did care for most characters and there were plenty of intense and emotional moments brought to life by the awesome voice acting. It's not a perfect game, but it is still one of the better story-driven experiences ever created. And if you enjoyed Season 1 of The Walking Dead, you will enjoy Season 2. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.